Hey teachers, I'm going to show you how to create a Google Meet virtual classroom link that you can place inside of your Canvas course. So there are different ways to make a Google Meet and if you're familiar with a way, go ahead and use that method. But if you're brand new, I'm going to show you the one that I think is the easiest. So I'm in my drive and essentially I'm just trying to get to the waffle and you can find the waffle in different places. I'm going to click it and scroll down until I see my meat. And you might have to scroll down a lot to find it if you've not used it. You can also move it by clicking on it with your mouse and dragging it wherever you would like. So if it is kind of far down in your search, you can move it up toward the top. All right, so I'm gonna click the meat. I'm already logged in, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna come over here and click a new meeting and it's gonna give me some options. Do I wanna create a meeting for later, an instant meeting, or do I wanna schedule it through my Google Calendar? Since we're creating a link and placing it into Canvas, I'm gonna go ahead and say create a meet for later. And here's my information. Now, if I wanted to copy this whole thing, including the dial in and pin numbers, I would click this button. But since I'm putting it into Canvas, the only thing I need is this link right here. So I'm going to use my mouse to highlight it. I'm going to say Control C as in cat to copy it. I could right click and copy as well. Then I'm going to come over to my Canvas page and wherever I'm going to put this link, I'm going to link it in by clicking my links icon. It's an external link. Paste it in and say done. Now I have it in my calendar, but you might have a button up here that says something about e-learning or virtual learning or Google Meet, and you could um, keep it up there and students would just click that anytime they had a Google Meet. So you could do it both ways, one way, whichever works best for you and your students. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save because I'm not done. I do need to go into the Meet now and make my settings, adjust my settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Google Meet and turn those off so I don't get feedback here. And I'm going to join. Notice no one else is here, of course, because I just created it. But here's the important things. You need to make a certain setting so that kids cannot come into the Meet before you. Plus, we want to make sure, much like the the Zoom waiting room, we want to make sure that we're only admitting our students into this meet, to this virtual classroom. So the setting that is super essential is down here in our host controls, and it's the quick access setting. We need to toggle that off. When we toggle this off, everyone, including people who log in with a school Google account, will be sent to the waiting room, and you will have to admit them. This is for safety if it's safety because we don't want to have outsiders coming into our meeting, but it's also for um, you so that we don't have students inside of our Google Meet unsupervised. So by toggling this off, you have to start the meeting first. No one can, can get in before you, and you'll admit each person. And I get that can be a little rough if you've got quite a few people coming to your meeting, but it's for safety, and we need to do it. The other things you might consider is we don't really want students sharing their screen. So we're going to toggle that off. Now I said might consider because if you're meeting in a very small group of say one, two or three students and you're sharing, you might want to go ahead and enable and allow them to share their screen so that they can present something to the small group. But if you're doing like a class session where you've got multiple kids in there, you're going to want to toggle this off because that means they can hit this share button anytime they feel like it and take over your screen. And we wouldn't want that. Unlike Zoom where you give permission to a specific student to share, if you have this on, all students can hit this button to share their screen at any time. So we wanna protect that. Chat messages, right now it's enabled, which means everyone in your meeting can send a chat and everyone can see it. You can toggle this off and that would mean only you, the teacher, can put items inside of the chat. So we want to set up these controls. And now I'm simply going to leave the meeting. I'm actually going to X out instead of hanging up. Okay, I'm going to use this virtual meeting room every single time because my settings are set the way I want them. 
if you want to create a new virtual link, virtual meeting link for every time you have one, that is totally fine. You can do that, but you're going to need to remember to come in right after creating that link and setting up the controls. Otherwise, just use the same link every time because when you do end the meeting permanently and you end the call, the meeting's over, you're going to kick every single student out of that meeting and because you've got your quick access turned off, no one can come in until you've started the meeting and admit them. So again, just a safety. So we don't want to leave the call. We want to end the call. This kicks everybody out. This means you leave the meeting and leave everybody else in the meeting. So I'm going to end the call for now. And now in my Canvas course, if any kid were to click on that link, they would be sent to a waiting room.